Hello, everybody. Uh, once again, Michael O'Leary, by the book Taxes. Uh, I'm doing a short video today on a very important topic that is going to affect probably upwards of 30 million small to medium size uh, business owners this year with a filing requirement with the Department of Treasury. I'm going to give you the Reader's Digest version of this, give some examples, and kind of lay out the timelines here, okay? First of all, in 2021, Congress passed a law called the Corporate Transparency Act, which was an anti-money laundering bill aimed to detect criminals from washing their money, their illegal money, through seemingly legitimate U.S. corporate entities. Nobody really paid attention to this law because it was passed during the COVID-19 period when people were more focused on PPP loans, stimulus payments, employee retire, uh, retention credits, and just keeping their businesses open. Now, in 2024, the enforcement for the Corporate Transparency Act kicks in. Here's the key piece. If you have a for-profit business entity or entities registered with the Secretary of State in any of the 50 states, you are required to file a report with the Department of Treasury disclosing the beneficial ownership interest or BOI that you, your partners, your members, or your shareholders in your entity or entities have. Entities that are re required to file are corporations, including S-corporations, and LLCs, including single-member LLCs, treated for tax purposes as sole proprietorships. There are some exceptions. If your business has more than 20 employees and more than $5 million in annual revenue, you are exempt. Also, if your business is in highly regulated industries like insurance, banking, or securities, you are exempt. Here's another important feature. If your entity was formed before January 1st of 2024, your filing deadline is December 31st of 2024. No extensions. This isn't a tax return. If your entity was or is being formed in, in 2024, you have 90 days from the date of formation to do your filing. There's penalties here. Penalties for late filing your report are $591 per day, up to a maximum of $10,000 per entity, plus possibly two years in prison per entity. I'm gonna give you some examples. Joe Electrician is self-employed and formed a single-member LLC in 2015. He must file disclosing his beneficial ownership interest in his entity by December 31st of 2024. Here's my second example. Joe the Plumber is self-employed and formed an S corporation for his business in 2019. He must file disclosing his beneficial ownership interest in his entity by December 31st, 2024. Here's one for this year. Husband and wife law firm, which is a partnership formed January 20th of this year, 2024. They have 90 days from January 20th of 2024 to disclose their beneficial ownership interests and in their partnership. A couple more. 
Dr. Marcus Welby has a corporation for his medical practice he set up in 1975. But he also has four investment rental properties, each of which are in their own LLC with his wife and two adult children as partners. All five entities, the medical practice and each of the four uh, rental property LLCs must file. I also believe homeowners associations are required to file if they are formed as corporations. My advice is talk to the attorney that formed your entity to see if they will do this for you. I'm going to share my screen for a second. Here's the government website that you are required to do this filing on. It's part of the Department of Treasury called the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network or FinCEN. It's also where accountants, people like me who do tax returns need to go online and report if their clients have assets, you know, money or investment accounts in foreign banks. But this is it. Um, the, the website is FinCEN, F-I-N-C-E-N dot gov forward slash B-O-I. I'm going to stop the share here. Okay. So that's the government website. A little clunky. Um, could be a little frustrating to use that. If your lawyer is not going to do this for you, and uh, I wouldn't try this on my own using the government website, reach out to me. I'm partnering with a uh, software platform whose sole business is helping clients with government filings, federal, state, local, whatever. So let me know, reach out to me after tax season, after April 15th, unless you have uh, just registered an entity, you know, in 2024, and this has to be done uh, right away. Okay, so once again, I'm going to share my screen again and put up my contact information. Here's my business card, Mike O'Leary. Buy the book taxes, uh, Norwalk, Connecticut. There's my cell, fax, email, and uh, website. Uh, in addition to uh, preparing 1040 tax returns, I also provide uh, all of the tax resolution options, installment payment agreements, offers of compromise, uh, currently not collectible if there's hardship, innocent spouse, uh, if there's taxes left over from a divorce, penalty abatements, uh, if you're having problems with ta uh, IRS tax liens and levies, and if you have a business and you're behind on your payroll taxes, please reach out to me. I can help. A uh, very important topic. Uh, please educate yourself on um, beneficial ownership uh, interest filing. Uh, I don't want to see you get a penalty uh, of $10,000. Uh, last uh, next year because nobody told you about this. That's why I'm trying to uh, spread the word as wide as I can. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care.